Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make the stitched fishtail with the Thor's hammer or Mjolnir clasp. All right, so we've done the Cobra knot before. We're doing the fishtail this time, but not just any fishtail. One with some really, really nice micro cord stitching. And I think this one turned out uh, quite nice actually, right? So feel free to experiment with different color combos and whatnot and uh, do as you like, all right? So remember, if you're looking for to get uh, paracord and all the tools and hardware and stuff I use in the video, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so to start this bracelet out, I've got my piece of paracord and I've just kind of melted the end and made it a point. I'm gonna put it through the, uh, the Mjolnir clasp, just through the hole there. And I'm gonna get both sides nice and even. So as you can see there, I just cut it at an angle and melted it with my lighter for one of the ends. And you're gonna take that same end that once you've fed it through, okay, so that end is on the right side, and now you're gonna go around to the left side. You're gonna take that sharp end and put it right through the same uh, opening there. And we're gonna get it through to the other side. So just um, do whatever you have to do, just wiggle it through. And I'm just gonna grab my uh, hemostats here in a second just to uh, pull the paracord all the way through. So get that through to the other side and pull the paracord or majority of it through. So this loop on the bottom now, that is going to be the length of your bracelet, okay? So get paracord through and um, you're gonna have to figure out the length of your bracelet at this point. So get uh, both sides of the cord even and that closed loop is going to be the length of the bracelet. And I'm now gonna put this on my jig. So now I got the uh, paracord set up on my handy uh, Mr. Coop's jig. And I'm gonna just start tying the fishtail. So right strand through the middle and left strand through the middle and pull them both through. So we're doing the kind of super simple method here. So again, right strand through the middle and go left over top of that. Make sure they're crossing over and uh, make sure after you tie each weave just to give it a bit of tension and push up on those uh, fishtail weaves. All right, so again, right through the middle and left through the middle. I'm gonna continue that pattern just um, all the way down my bracelet and um, yeah, try to keep your knots uh, nice and uh, even in terms of tension and just uh, yeah, make your way down your core. So to finish the bracelet off, I'm gonna take the strand on the right, pass it through the middle, just create that loop there. And before closing it, you're gonna take the same strand again and pass it through the middle again over top of the same strand, okay? So that's gonna form like a bit of a, a knot and you're gonna be able to kind of uh, close off that loop there. So that's the right side done. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the left. Take the strand through the middle, work most of it through, and then get the same end of that cord, put it above the cord through the middle, like so. Okay, and then pull it through. Now, um, before the stitching part, I didn't cut off the excess paracord. I would actually suggest you um, do that first before doing the stitching. I kind of did half the stitching and then I melted the excess cords, but um, you should probably just do that now. It's probably easier to um, clip and melt off the excess now before we do the stitching. So now we're gonna do our uh, stitching with the white micro cord. I've got that on my uh, smallest fid. And uh, we're gonna start by anchoring our micro cord through the, um, the, the back of the bracelet or on the back side of the bracelet. I'm gonna go under, you know, you can do three or four knots. Um, doesn't really matter how many, but um, usually three or four is enough. So just go under that first um, set of knots. I'm actually gonna go through two or three of them at once, but uh, do whatever you can. If you can't get them through all at once, do two, and then go through another two, like I am doing here. All right? So get that through and pull all the paracord through, almost all the way through. And um, a little tip is you can just put a little melted end on the end of your micro cord and that'll actually prevent the cord from slipping through. But once we tie all the knots, it's, it's not really gonna go anywhere. Okay, so get that cord through and just under. And now we can start the first side of the stitching. 
working with that same needle, you're going to just kind of follow the top, um, the right side of the fishtail weaves. Okay, so I went through the middle there and out the other side. And the key here is not to pull too tight on the micro cord. Okay, because if you pull it too tight, it's going to slip in between those weaves and it's not going to look as good. All right, so again, see I'm going through the middle here, just above that, um, that knot. Okay, and in a sec, I'll show you there, see right behind, that's about where it's coming through. So again, just put enough tension to nestle that uh, micro cord in between the, um, the two, the weaves, and um, don't pull too hard. So it comes out right there, okay? And you're essentially just gonna continue this pattern all the way down one side. So um, I found this way the easiest way of doing it. I'm sure there's another way that you can try, but um, for this method, I found it easiest just to do one side and then do the other side. And this one, again, you're just making loops around the bracelet. Okay, so continue that um, stitching all the way down the right side of the bracelet and uh, get all the way down to the end. So I've come down to the end. I've done my last kind of uh, stitch there. And to secure the micro cord, we're going to do the same thing, kind of like we started. I'm going to go underneath uh, about four or five of the um, fishtail weaves on one side, and then just pull that all the way through. Okay. And again, you don't need to pull too tight when securing this. That um, tension alone will keep it under there. So now you've got that um, cord underneath those weaves, and then you can just take your you know, scissors or whatever and just clip off that paracord. You don't have to uh, melt the micro cord, I mean. Um, it should stay there just fine the way it is. All right, and that's gonna be on the back side anyway, so you won't see it. So now um, I'm actually gonna cut off my excess cords here, but if you followed my previous instruction, you would have done this um, already. But I'm just going to clip off the excess cords uh, for the blue, and then we're going to um, take our lighter and uh, melt them. I like to melt these ones um, together, actually, so they fuse together with each other. It makes it even more secure in this case, in this case, because they're coming through about the same area. And apologize for being out of focus there, but um, you don't really need to see what I'm doing. I'm just melting it with the lighter, and I'm gonna press down on it with an otter's tool. Now for the second side of stitching, we're going to do the exact same process. So again, I'm going to anchor my micro cord underneath about four of the um, fishtail weaves. So get that through and always be careful not to pierce through the, um, the paracord when you're doing this. It's very easy, especially when your fids are kind of pointy. So get all that uh, micro cord through just like you did before and get it just underneath there. Okay, and then now we're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to follow that same line of the um, fishtail weave with your micro cord. So just get your fid through there. Get it to come out the back. See, I'm just under the white cord there on the other side. And then you pull it through. Okay. And um, yeah, that's the process. Repeat that second side just as you did all the way down the bracelet. And again, don't pull too hard um, after each stitch because that's going to make the, the micro cord slip in between the weaves and you won't see it as well. So give it just enough tension just so that it sits right between the, um, the two uh, paracord strands. All right, so continue that all the way down to the end and um, we'll finish it off from there. And as always, um, just like the first side, we're going to do the last weave or the last um, micro cord stitch and we're going to secure it the exact same way. Okay, so out the back and then you're going to take the um, micro cord again and just go underneath three or four of those uh, fishtail weaves. And after you've gotten your cord through, you can just take your scissors and um, just clip off the excess micro cord and we will be finished. 
All right, and there we have it. We are done. There is the stitched fishtail with the Thor's hammer or Mjolnir clasp. And uh, yeah, this one turned out pretty nice. So remember when you're doing those stitches, keep the, don't pull too hard on the micro cord. Otherwise it's not gonna look very good. You need to keep it um, just enough tension to line it up with that fishtail. All right, so guys, as always a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping make these videos possible. If you want to check out uh, my Patreon page and help support the channel, get access to those exclusive videos. The playlist should be right on the screen. You can check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.